Hey, how y'all doing out there? I got some old crazy news for y'all. The brat done joined the long list of celebrities talking crazy about R. Kelly since he been in jail. And all of them lying. The list include Portia Williams, Kelly Rowland, and Beyonce. Keisha Cole, and all the other one-hit wonders of the world. And everybody know Portia Williams just trying to sell that book, but they saying that the brat's wife lost five hot dog eating contests in a row because apparently she don't like hot dogs no more and now they can't pay the rent and that's one of the reasons why the brat allegedly coming out telling all this news on R. Kelly. But before we get into that, I got some news about Martin Lawrence and Tisha Campbell allegedly getting back together. They was caught dating each other after Dwayne Martin left Tisha Campbell for Will Smith allegedly and even though Tisha Campbell got about 10 grandkids, Martin the one that swole up like Big Mama. They said he been depressed because he ain't got nobody. He been eating a whole lot. But now that him and Tisha Campbell together, maybe they can go on a diet together. We gonna get into that news. And also we're gonna be talking about Oprah Winfrey and Gayle King's alleged secret relationship. All these years people thought Oprah was in a relationship with Stedman or married to Stedman. But according to this information we received, he just a cameraman because Oprah and Gayle King got some freaky little tape that's about to come out. Now I can't give y'all all the details cause this alleged news, but the same way the brat's wife used to be winning all them hot dog eating contests, let's just say Oprah and Gayle King used to be winning them pie eating contests. Don't worry, we gonna get into that. But before we do that, I'ma need y'all to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, baby. Also hit that notification button, y'all. Don't forget to show me some love because all I ever do is show y'all some love. You understand me? And hit that cash app too, dollar sign Sean Blaze Docs. I sure appreciate it. But without further ado, let's get back into this news, y'all. Everybody know that R. Kelly and the Brat grew up in Chicago together. They went to the same school together, had the same music teacher, and before he went to jail, the brat was defending R. Kelly. She said she ain't never seen him do nothing wrong to nobody, and if anybody need to be held accountable, it need to be the parents out there. But nowadays, allegedly, she's singing a whole different tune because everybody know that the brat like girls, but she never explained how she wound up liking girls in the first place, y'all. She been keeping this a secret her whole entire career, but now that R. Kelly in jail and he can't get close to her, she about to let the whole world know exactly why she like girls. And also, when Lisa Ray was filming the Players Club movie, she was all up on Ice Cube lap. She was getting butt naked while Ice Cube was the director of the movie, so he was holding the camera, zooming in and out on her boobies. And on her booty. She was real nasty in that movie. And R. Kelly had something to do with all them girls being up in the strip club while they was filming the Players Club. And remember that scene where Uncle Luke came there with a whole bunch of them females? R. Kelly was in there too, but they just ain't want to have him on camera. Because the truth of the matter is, R. Kelly had secret relationships with Ice Cube, Michael Jackson, Jermaine Dupri, and Jermaine Dupri was accused of doing the same thing that R. Kelly did, but except for what he was doing was with little boys. And rest in peace to Chris Cross because one of them boys was Lisa Ray and the brat's brother. But y'all see, the brat been tied in with Jermaine Dupri and R. Kelly. And if it wasn't for R. Kelly, the brat may not know Jermaine Dupri because she from Chicago and she got a record deal with Jermaine Dupri along with her family members, Lisa Ray, all of them. They owe R. Kelly everything, y'all. Now she's sitting up here exposing R. Kelly. Don't worry, y'all need to stay tuned because this about to get real good. We gonna get back to that. But right now, I gotta tell y'all what's going on with Tisha Campbell and Martin Lawrence finally getting back together after Tisha Cole basically ruined his career. She sure did. She said Martin was squeezing on her, touching on her, kissing on her. But now that she's trying to get that show back on the air, she doing everything in her power to be with Martin Lawrence and now they allegedly dating. Even the girl from The Fresh Prince, what was her name? Who, Ashley? No, I think it was Tatiana Ali. Martin Lawrence even got her show and it was going good for a little bit, but she ain't got no talent on that camera. But according to some people, she got some talent in the bedroom and that's how she was able to get the show in the first place. But that's Negro here nor there. When Tisha Campbell made them allegations against Martin, he lost his mind. Even Dave Chappelle was talking about it on the Oprah show. Martin running down the street, screaming and crying. They said he showed up to the nail salon dressed up like Shanene and started fighting the people that worked there because they wouldn't give him no hot comb, y'all. Martin Lawrence was acting up worse than R. Kelly and that Gail Kang interview. 
They said before Martin and Tisha got back together, Martin wasn't speaking to nobody. Not Will Smith, Tommy Cole. They said he fell off the face of the earth, but now that he with Tisha, every time you see him, he be like, <laughs> it looked like he getting back to his old self. But all she gonna do when she get mad again is make up some old allegations, so maybe he need to leave her alone. She looked like she just left the crazy house. Now the brat caught a lot of backlash for speaking out against the parents of the victims of R. Kelly. But now it's starting to look like she's a victim herself because her and R. Kelly had the same music teacher back in the day and the brat can't sing. Mm -hmm. She can't rap, nope. but R. Kelly went on to win Grammys, so I can see why she mad. She ain't good for nothing. Now, rumor has it, y'all. Allegedly, she had a big crush on R. Kelly back in the day when they was in school together, but R. Kelly never paid her no attention, even though she was trying to act younger than what she was, calling herself the brat, wearing pigtails and braids, and she 50-something years old, R. Kelly ain't want nothing to do with her back then. She did everything in her power to try to get this man. He get off stage at the concert. She backstage with a towel just to wipe the sweat off his face. Oh, Kelly, you all right. Do you need anything, Kelly? But he ain't want nothing from her, and that broke her down so bad, y'all. Lord, have mercy. She ain't never want to look at another man. She ain't never want to touch another man. And the only reason why she was messing with Allen Iverson is because R. Kelly had braids and R. Kelly liked playing basketball and she was only with him because he reminded her of R. Kelly. But when Robert married Andrea Kelly, that's when the brat was through. And she said she ain't never gonna love another man ever again. And that's a similar situation to what happened with Oprah and Gail Kane, who also was out of Chicago, just like the brat. Legend has it. Oprah and Gail Kane had a crush on Stedman back in the day when they was in high school, but they was too black for him. He was in love with Stacy Keebler. Oh, she looked like an elf. The only white girl in their school. And she ain't even cute. But when Oprah got rich and famous, Stedman tried to get back with her, but she had him carrying her bags, opening and closing doors. He was basically her butler, but the media saw that and assumed that they was in a relationship together. But the truth is, Oprah and Gail Kane was just dominating his punk ass. Cause back in the day, Oprah and Gail was waiting for Stedman to turn them out. But instead, he turned them in. Turned them into each other. Mm-hmm. Now they got this alleged secret little tape coming out, and they said Stedman the cameraman. Now y'all about to see a whole nother side of Oprah. And by the time this all said and done, y'all gonna be calling Gail King, Gail King Cone the way she be putting it down. Damn, she got it like that. Yeah, they say that's how Oprah kept on losing that weight. But anyway, the brat is one of the many celebrities that said R. Kelly need to get some help. But none of these people offered R. Kelly any help, even though he offered them plenty of things when he was still on top. If it wasn't for R. Kelly being in the brat's music class, she would have never been inspired to be a performer. And on top of that, R. Kelly is the reason why she got a record deal in the first place because like I said, him, Jermaine Dupri, Michael Jackson, and all them other perverts in Hollywood was real tight. But since the brat ain't never been with a man before, she the tightest one out of all of them, y'all. Yeah, I know she's super tight. Y'all gonna have to let me know how y'all feel about this in the comment section. Do y'all think R. Kelly should have gave the brat a chance back in the day? Do she got a right to be mad at him for not turning her out, but turning her in to other women, y'all? They said she coming out with a children's book, The Brat and the Cat. Well, yeah, that's where she be at. Her wife need to quit trying to do them hot dog eating contests and just get in the pie eating contests. I know she gonna win that one, hands down. But one thing for sure, everybody turning on R. Kelly, he ain't never even did nothing to nobody. He's sitting up in jail with them cold sheets, got lice all over his body. They said they need to bring out the termite man just to wash R. Kelly draws. Cause he got bugs all over his wood. Y'all gonna have to leave them comments in the comment section for real, for real, because I'm looking to see what y'all got to say about this. The brat, you should have kept your mouth closed. R. Kelly ain't never said nothing bad about you. Now you sitting up here blaming him for everything. I just can't take it no more. Make sure y'all hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also hit that notification button, y'all. Don't forget to show me some love, man. And hit that cash app too, dollar sign Sean Blaze Dots. Don't forget to show me some love. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, yeah. You know you want to, you might as well subscribe. You know you want to, you might as well subscribe. You know you want to, you might as well subscribe. You know you want to, you might as well subscribe. 
just won't subscribe. You know you want to, you might as well subscribe. You know you want to, you might as well subscribe. You know you want to, you might as well subscribe. Sean got the jocks, I'm keeping it funky like some socks. Ponytail with the box, and my cell phone look like a box. Try not to get shell shot when I start busting out the docks. I got secret video tapes of your mom cussing out your pops. All over a box of corn pops, this rhythm got your pops.